I was born a quirk head. And being a quirk head, I always thought differently. I grew up tapping every wall I walked by and believing that vegetables had feelings. I made up thought rituals that I would perform every day to alleviate my fears of losing those I loved. I counted the number of times I swallowed and I put my hangers in my closet a certain way because I was terrified that one item out of place would trigger the next apocalypse. I didn't know that so many others lived the same way until one of my teachers noticed several of my rituals. I was both amazed that she noticed and completely mortified that someone had seen my most vulnerable self that I had been trying to hide for so long. After hearing about some of my other quirks, she told me about obsessive compulsive disorder. I felt liberated knowing that I wasn't alone, but growing up with OCD was tough. I thought everything was my fault and I hated myself because things that came so easily to others seemed impossible for me. Mental illness is different than a physical ailment because it's not external. It doesn't show up in the form of a lump, a rash, or a broken bone. It's part of you, which makes it hard to separate what is actually you and what is the illness. I couldn't distinguish if my thoughts were rational or insane. Before college, I went to counseling and eventually most of the tics subsided. But a lot of my issues with low self-esteem still remained. I knew that I still thought differently than others, and the self-loathing persisted. Even though I had a supportive family and a wonderful set of mentors and friends, I felt like I didn't fit in. This constant self-criticism spiraled me down into a depression for much of my time in college. I was very hesitant to share my feelings with others. I was ashamed that I was still struggling with a lot of demons from the past. I convinced myself that I was okay because my mental state would keep fluctuating up and down even though my negative phases would always follow my positive ones. Everyone around me looked so happy and seemed to have their lives together. So I thought I was the only one who was struggling. I didn't realize until later how many others were struggling with the same issues as me. I'm so lucky to have had such kind mentors who always cared about my well-being. One of my professors noticed that I was having a harder time writing than I normally did and asked me if everything was all right. I broke down in tears and told him about all of my insecurities with mental illness. He patiently handed me tissues and then told me about his own previous experiences with depression. He encouraged me to get help and told me about CAPS. I had mixed experiences with counseling in the past, so I was afraid to try again. But my professor motivated me to try again and seek help. Going to CAPS really helped me find ways to be more compassionate towards myself and to stop the cycles of negative thoughts. We would never criticize our friends or loved ones like that. So why should we treat ourselves that way? They also provided some guided meditation and mindfulness strategies that helped me learn how to unapologetically take the time to care for myself and to be present in each moment without judgment. My professors also encouraged me to find ways to tell my story and self-heal through music. I eventually wrote a piece called Quirk Head that chronicled my personal struggles with OCD. I was initially terrified to open up about my experiences with mental illness, but my mentors embraced my story and told me that my story was an important one to be shared. I'm still growing and learning how to be more compassionate with myself, but I finally have a great support system and I'm getting the help I need. I'm slowly realizing that having OCD doesn't make me a horrible human being. In fact, it makes me a better one because I've learned how to be incredibly patient from performing endless compulsions. It has made me more attentive to details and made my music more precise. 
and it has allowed me to be more accepting and empathetic towards others, and to love those close to me more. My brain will always be wired differently, but maybe that's okay. And I'm finally proud to be myself. I'm proud to be a quirkhead.